Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'm back in the studio in Mountain View, California. Let's get caught up with the coolest developer news from Google in the last week or so. You can now register for Google Developer Days Europe, taking place on September 5th and 6th in Poland. We'll showcase our latest developer product and platform updates to help you develop high-quality apps, grow and retain an active user base, and tap into tools to earn more. There'll be technical talks, hands-on training sessions, and one-on-one -on -one time with Googlers and members of our Google Developer Experts community. The link to register is on the post. Also happening in September is the Google Play Indie Games Festival in San Francisco on the 23rd. If you're an indie developer based in the US or Canada and want to submit your game, you have until August 6th to do so. Just head on over to the post linked in the description below. We recently launched a developer preview of the Android Things console, which allows you to manage the software running on your fleet of Android Things IoT devices, including creating factory images, as well as updating the operating system and developer-provided APKs. A tour of the console and the features it offers are on the post. The Google People API now has write endpoints that allow you to create, delete, and update a single contact, as well as contact group endpoints to read and write contact groups. Code and screenshots are on the post. Starting with the Firebase Functions module version 0.5.9, there are now three new types of database triggers you can write. On create, on update, and on delete. To see how this can make your code more efficient, check out the post. You can now use the Google Cloud Platform region in London to run applications and store data in London. This is our 10th region and joins our existing European region in Belgium. Details, including the available zones and services, are on the post. Google Container Engine now runs Kubernetes 1.7 and includes differentiated features for enterprise security, extensibility, hybrid networking, and developer efficiency. Details are on the post. As developers, when starting a new project on the Google Cloud Platform, you may find yourself trying to decide between different compute options. Google Compute Engine, Google Container Engine, App Engine, or even Google Cloud Functions and Firebase. Sound familiar? If so, this handy decision tree is for you. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in to The Dev Show, your once again weekly update on all the coolest developer news from Google. If you'd like to catch some of our previous episodes, they're right over here.